David Glasser, I'm the chairman of the Benuri, and for me this is a very special occasion because it's the, I haven't curated an exhibition for the museum for I think six years, but when the opportunity came up to curate an exhibition of Susan, Suzanne Perelman, it was irresistible. She has a range of different expressions which she manages to put on canvas or paper or an etching or lithograph form and each is distinctive. Say the ambassador to Hungary has made a special effort to be here this evening and I'm absolutely delighted to welcome him. When I speak I usually talk about politics and economics and business and so it really is a privilege for me to in my new role as ambassador I it, it is uh, two weeks from today that I started the, this role <laughs> as ambassador of Hungary uh, to open this ex exhibition um, uh, and, and so I've prepared a few words. That's very kind of you. And I promise that they will not be long. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, as Hippocrates said, Ars longa vita brevis. Life is short, art is long. By which he meant that the human lifespan limits all that might be accomplished. But as you can see, the 91-year young Suzanne Perlman has accomplished a great many things through her extremely varied artistic career, spanning several decades. She was born in Hungary, from where she went to live in the Netherlands, and then she emigrated to the Dutch Antilles, but has lived in London, the theme of her exhibition, here for 25 years. I have a great admiration for her London paintings, which have been ex executed with such artistic fervor as displayed in this exhibition. What can I tell you about Suzanne Perlman, the artist? Very simply, that she did not, until this exhibition, wish to put herself in the front line so that she could have the accolades and the reputation that she deserved. And it took us a little bit of time to persuade you to go public. For me, this exhibition is also a surprise to see all the works together. I come in and I say, who painted this marvelous picture? <laughs> it's, I'm telling you, it's really so funny that you look at it like a third party and you are really in in, enthralled by it and just think, remember how you did it. Because most of the paintings here are actually done on the spot. And that speaks, I think. It has such a direct kind of a communication with the people. And I say, this is God's gift. Because we have to be so grateful what we receive. And we want to return as much as we can for it. It is important to emphasize that culture is not just about the economic value of our creative industries. It is what defines us as a civilization. Culture helps us understand the world around us, explain it, and sometimes escape from it. As Picasso put it, washing the dust of daily life from our souls.